Hey, hey everyone, Lainey here. So it is my first night to sleep in the bus and it was not planned <laughs> because the seats are all still in the bus. So I have no idea uh, how I'm going to do it, but I'm thinking about different ways. The seats do recline, so I don't know, maybe I can work something out. But I got a late start this morning because I just couldn't leave my Cheryl. We just laughed so much and talked so much this morning. And then uh, I decided to take it really slow, not try to drive like the speed limit of 70 miles an hour. I decided to take it slow and take my time. And so right before I got to Barstow, California, I saw this rest stop and, ooh, oh, sorry, I'm yawning, I'm sleepy. And so I stopped at the rest stop to take the doggies for a walk and it is such a nice rest stop. And it was like, I don't know, six o'clock at night. I knew it would be getting dark soon. My in initial uh, thought was to go to Barstow and get a Motel 6, but after I stopped at this rest stop, you know, I felt such peace here and such calm and there's trees and there's really nice bathrooms and there was even a food truck not even kidding. Oh my gosh, they had elote. If you do not know what elote is, it's Mexican corn in a cup, so it's not on the cob. It's in a cup and they put, they cook it in butter forever till it's just nice and tender. And then they put um, mayonnaise and Parmesan cheese. Now I know that might sound disgusting. Don't knock it till you try it. So that's what I had for dinner tonight was a cup of elote and the people that ran the food cart were just the nicest people and uh, just trying to make ends meet during COVID. It's just totally cool. And uh, sorry. Anyway, just had such a good vibe here that I just decided, you know, I'm going to save the 80 bucks to put into the build out of, uh, of Phoenix instead of, you know, staying in a crappy Motel 6. I mean, 80 bucks, really, for that crappy motel? I mean, don't get me wrong, Motel 6 is great for me because uh, they allow the dogs and do not charge a fee for that. So I'm willing to put up with less than prime comfort in order to save that kind of money, you know. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I got insurance on Phoenix today with no problem. Um, I was a little concerned about it. Sorry. Oh my gosh, it's been a long day. I was a little concerned about it because I'd heard horror stories, you know, but I had done some research about it. And so I have her temporarily insured as a private use uh, commercial vehicle. And I didn't know you could do that, but you can. So because it's a commercial vehicle and it hasn't been converted into an RV, I couldn't insure it as a bus conversion. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh, I so apologize. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, you're not boring me. I hope I'm not boring you. I'm just sleepy and I'm about to go to bed. I just wanted to give you guys an update. Anyway, okay, where was I? Oh yeah, so I can't, uh, I cannot currently insure it as a bus conversion RV because it hasn't been converted. So after doing some reading and making a few phone calls, I found that Progressive Insurance will insure this as a commercial vehicle for private use. And so that's what I did. It wasn't really as expensive as I was fearing. Um, it was le uh, 700 and something a year, which is, I know, kind of high, but I'm not going to have it that long, right? Because we're going to convert it and then I'll cancel that insurance policy and um, change over to another company probably to do the bus conversion insurance. So, and you know what? This time, guys, I don't care how much it costs. Well, I mean, it's got to be within my budget. Hang on, y'all got to see this. Juno, Juno, what are you doing? Do you want in my lap? She hates being on camera. Do you want in my lap? <laughs> she wants in my lap. Jack, look at him. Hey, Jackie boy. Hey, buddy. 
yeah, he's on my last nerve tonight. He just is not listening. He just kind of, you know, he's a little freaked out by the noise. I've got the bus running right now to kind of cool it off so I can run the AC and the lights and stuff. And he does not like the diesel engine. And he doesn't know what to think. And he's all kind of skittish. And you know what? I think he's still kind of freaked out from the fire. It's only been, what, a week and a half? And he was the one that I had to hunt for and drag out of the RV. And so he's just on my last nerve tonight. He's not listening. He's being kind of a dick, but I love him anyway. He's so cute. Uh, where was I on the insurance? Oh yeah. So, um, I'll cancel the insurance when, um, the conversion is made. Oh my gosh. Ugh, yawning is a side effect of one of my medications. So, uh, really it's not my fault. Do you know, what do you want? Do you want, are you, what, are you hungry? You want dinner? Oh, Jack perked up at that. Um, so the bus conversion insurance will be cheaper, I'm sure, than the commercial for private use. But once it's done, and I, I found out that I have to have, like, working um, plumbing and refrigeration and all that stuff. So I don't know how long that'll take, but yeah. And let me see what else. Oh yeah. I don't know if I've told you this in a previous video, but Cheryl discovered that we already have here on Miss Phoenix, a black and gray water dump. Yeah. And a clean fresh water fill because there used to be a bathroom. Remember? So what I'm thinking is all the plumbing is still in place. They just removed like the toilet and the sink, the fixtures and left the plumbing underneath the bus in place. So I have a black tank, I'm assuming a gray tank and a freshwater tank and the plumbing to fill the tank with fresh water and to dump the tanks. I'm excited about that. Okay. I'm going to let you go because Juno is demanding my attention. I'm sure they're hungry. Maybe they need to go out. I don't know. <sighs> what a day. I'll let y'all know tomorrow morning how the night went. Peace. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so this is where I slept last night for the few hours that I actually did sleep. And it wasn't too bad, but it wasn't great. <laughs> so what I did is this is the, the three seats that will eventually become my couch. They're right in the back of the bus. And so you see how narrow this seat is? Yeah, I'm a big girl. I wasn't going to fit there. That's too narrow for me. <laughs> so I took the Costco package of paper towels and put it down and then put the pillow over it. And then here is the Costco package of toilet paper and I put this pillow over it. So it made it kind of almost the size of a twin size bed. Not quite. And then of course, you know, the blanket that Cheryl gave me and the throw that I bought at Walmart. I woke up at 4.30 because I was freezing. 44 degrees, no buddy heater, frozen. <laughs> It wasn't too bad though. Yeah, it was, it was really bad. I guess I'm just trying to sugarcoat it for y'all. <laughs> so this is what I look like after a really rough night. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sleeping on this bus in the seats. Yeah. Not the best experience. Whew. So today I am going to go to Pahrump. I'm kind of excited. Uh, no, I'm, that's not, that's the understatement of the year. I am over the moon excited. I'm thrilled that there are so many people out in this nomadic community that are so generous with their time and their talents and their, you know, funds. Everybody's been fabulous. Can't wait to see what Phoenix is going to become. Oh, so. I am kind of waking up, about to take the dogs for a walk. It is freezing. Ugh. Yeah, I wasn't built for uh, cold weather. Well, you know, it never used to bother me, but now with the fibromyalgia, it just, ugh. All right, so I'm going to take the doggos out. And uh, as you can probably hear, Phoenix has already started. I 
I'm trying out the heater to see if it works. Hopefully, because I'm frozen. All right, guys, peace out. I'll give you an update from Pahrump. Bye. <laughs>